Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second supplementary session of the day where we will focus on the topic of academic exchanges between Pakistan and Russian institutions, challenges and prospects. This session aims to highlight the importance of educational collaboration in fostering mutual understanding and enhancing cooperation between our two countries. Our distinguished panel of experts will share their insights on how fostering academic partnerships can contribute to strengthening bilateral ties and promoting knowledge sharing in various fields. Our first speaker for this session would be Professor Irina Novikova. Professor Irina Novikova is Doctor in History of International Relations and Foreign Policy, Professor of the Department of European Studies, Dean of the School of International Relations, St. Petersburg Uni State University, Russia. Her research interests include diplomatic history of the World War I, history of the international relations in the Baltic Sea region, comparative studies of small states in international relations, and Eurasian studies. She is the author of more than 180 scientific publications, including two monographs and 10 collective monographs. Our second speaker for this discussion would be Dr. Dmitry Bershenkov. Dr. Dmitry is an associate professor and vice dean in the Department of World Politics School of International Relations at St. Petersburg State University. He got his master's degree in European studies at the College of Europe and PhD in political science. His research interest is focused on the theory and history of diplomacy, foreign policy, and international politics. This session will be moderated by Ms. Ayusha Khan. Ms. Ayusha Khan is currently Associate Director at Strategic Vision Institute in Islamabad and is currently pursuing a PhD from the School of Politics and International Relations at Qaeda Azam University. Her research areas include nuclear deterrence, non-proliferation, nuclear doctrines, and emerging technologies. With this, I would hand over session to Ms. Ayusha Khan to re re moderate the remaining of the session. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Aisha. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this last supplementary session of this day before the concluding session is about academic exchanges uh, between the Russian and Pakistani institutions. Um, while beginning the session, I would like, uh, I'm happy to report that last month this need is actually realized by the governments of the both states and both states actually signed an agreement where there is a possibility of actually exchange of students between both sides and especially in the area of, of emerging technologies. So uh, this is a very good and welcoming news. Uh, and I'm honored to host both of the panelists with me. Uh, my first panelist is Dr. Irena, who is a Dean of School of International Relations. So without further ado, I would give a floor to her. Thank you. Distinguished uh, colleagues, uh, first of all, I'm very grateful to uh, Strategic Region uh, Institute, uh, Dr. Salik, uh, uh, Mr. Skazmiev for the invitation uh, to be here with you. Uh, and uh, having uh, given opportunity uh, to share my, some information about uh, uh, my university and uh, also um, uh, share some ideas, suggestions uh, for prospects for academic exchanges. I'm not exper expert in this field of non-proliferation, uh, but as a dean, uh, at the School of International Relations, uh, try to provide uh, this topic uh, in the educational process. Like uh, uh, respected uh, previous speakers uh, said, uh, really uh, relations between uh, Pakistan and Russia have been developing uh, very dynamically. Um, in recent uh, years, uh, our leaders uh, meet regularly on slide, uh, side uh, lines of the different uh, uh, international conferences. Uh, but education and uh, um, science, um, it seems to me uh, significantly uh, getting behind economics and uh, security 
um, and military technical cooperation and cooperation in the sphere of security. Uh, in my presentation, I'd like to point out uh, briefly uh, two, uh, two aspects. First, uh, uh, kind stage of cooperation between Russia and Pakistan on this field of education. And uh, the uh, second, uh, I share some information about St. Petersburg University and uh, School of International Relations. Uh, However, if we want to create a solid foundation for cooperation between our countries in various areas uh, to bring our countries closely uh, to each other, we need to pay more attention uh, to the sphere of education, science and culture, uh, so that our countries and societies get to know each other better and develop cooperation and under any circumstances. Of course, academic exchange plays an important role in the uh, creation of trust, trust between societies and uh, good foundation for cooperation. Uh, those, uh, the Russian government provides uh, an annual state quota for Pakistani students uh, uh, in demand for uh, the Pakistani economy, economics, for example, this year, uh, the number of places under the quota uh, has doubled and amounted to uh, 50 students. Currently, uh, more than 380 Pakistani students are studying in Russian universities. Uh, 90 of them under the state quota, uh, supported by uh, Russian government. Um, now I'd, I would like to say a few words about uh, my university. Uh, St. Petersburg University uh, is the first Russian uh, university. It was founded uh, 300 years ago. Among uh, alumni, you can see uh, nine Nobel Prize winners, six prime minister of Russia, and two president, uh, presidents of modern Russia, Vladimir Putin and Dmitry Medvedev. Uh, St. Petersburg and uh, Moscow State Universities uh, have special Uh, have uh, special uh, status in Russian educational system. Um, St. Petersburg University has been granted uh, privilege to set its own educational standards and uh, award its own uh, bilingual diplomas in Russian and English. In the Russian education system, only two universities, Moscow and St. Petersburg universities, uh, are directly uh, subordinate to the government of uh, Russian Federation. Uh, this year, more than... Uh, 200, uh, 2,200 uh, foreign students were admitted at St. Petersburg University from uh, 106 countries. Unfortunately, we have quite small community of uh, Pakistani students on average for uh, four to six students from Pakistan study at the university each year. Uh, the uh, record year is this year, then uh, 13 students from Pakistan were admitted to various university programs. What programs do usually Pakistani students choose? Uh, basically, uh, uh, these are master programs uh, in English, uh, such as international management, uh, world trade, uh, master in business uh, analytics and big data, smart uh, city uh, management, and uh, we are very glad uh, that this year, uh, for the first time in many years, two students uh, from Pakistan enrolled to our School of International Relations for master programs, international studies. Uh, regarding academic uh, mobility and joint scientific research between uh, St. Petersburg University and Pakistani universities, I can say that we are at the very beginning of the path. 
During past five uh, uh, years, only one researcher from St. Petersburg University has, um, has been an internship in Pakistan, and we have accepted only two researchers from uh, Pakistan. This is extremely small and does not, uh, correspond, uh, does not correspond, uh, correspond to our real uh, potential. Uh, now let me say some words about uh, the School of International Relations, which I present. Um, it was founded in 1994, and we celebrated uh, its uh, 30th anniversary this year. It's located in a very nice place, within the historical assembly of Smolny Cathedral. Um, we have more than 1,000 uh, 300 students. Uh, our school is a member of the Union of Schools of uh, Politics and International Relations, established in uh, 2080s in Shanghai at Fudan University, which unites more than uh, 20 schools of international relations in Southeast Asia. Uh, also, I can say that all education programs of uh, School of International Relations received international professional accreditation from the German Agency for Quality Assurance in Education, uh, Hanover. Uh, School of International Relations include, uh, includes six departments. Uh, implements um, 16 uh, educational programs and two uh, postgraduate uh, programs. Um, on, on the slide, you can see, uh, can get to know some of master programs. Unfortunately, we have uh, only two master programs uh, in English, international relations, and strategic studies. The program strategic studies and arms control studies is really innovative and uh, has the best staff. Uh, As a result, uh, our efforts, we try to create academic platform for discussion uh, in the field of uh, non-proliferation. Uh, and you can, can see some events with prominent diplomats and ex experts, which were delivered uh, the lectures at CIR. And um, in conclusion, I can say that we would be also glad to establish new connections with uh, Pakistani institution. Uh, I'm, it's gorgeous to have uh, such an outstanding and proactive partner uh, like, uh, like the uh, SVI. And I also can say about uh, uh, some activities we can uh, suggest for uh, Pakistani colleagues and students. Uh, first, uh, um, we can um, suggest academic exchange. We have some, uh, um, we have uh, the uh, program uh, for visiting professors of our school. Uh, we also uh, our university, St. Petersburg University, uh, can uh, suggest different kind, uh, kind of programs in English uh, for master level. Uh, we also um, can suggest uh, uh, to study Russian language uh, online. Uh, I think it's... Uh, maybe a good suggestion for, uh, for young researchers. And uh, we also can suggest uh, to publish in, uh, the articles in our scientific journals dedicated to international relations. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, doctor. Now I would like to request uh, Prof uh, Professor Dr. Dimitri for uh, his remarks. I know it would be difficult speaking after your boss, but you have to do a job.
Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Uh, dear colleagues, let me unite my voice to the voices of all the colleagues who uh, expressed their gratitude to SVI and to our dear hosts, and not only for this possibility of outstanding discussion, but of course to this opportunity to touch on the history culture and traditions of Pakistan, especially for those who are for the first time in your beautiful country like me, for example. Thanks so much. Um, well, uh, as we all understand from the intervention by Dean Novikova, um, the topic of our uh, supplementary session fits very good to the general topic of our conference, with that exception with we both were for the proliferation. But we support, we support the proliferation of academic exchange and not the nuclear weapons. Um, well, dear colleagues, my task uh, at this stage is quite simple and modest. I just would like to add some details to the academic exchange uh, opportunities and units presented by uh, Professor Novikova. But first, let me start, please, with some thank you with the elaboration of some um, of some theoretical, if you allow the terms, of the academic exchange. Well, uh, in broader understanding, academic exchange consists of educational programs, including, for example, double and uh, joint diplomas, educational technologies like um, methods of teaching, dialectical, uh, sorry, um, uh, method of, of teaching, didactical approaches and means, exchange of students, certainly, um, exchange of lecturers, and exchange of uh, researchers. Let me uh, focus more in details on the special, specialized units for research and academic exchange research on our school, the School of International Relations, St. Petersburg University. Uh, the first uh, research center I would like to, to, to draw your attention to is a cross-disciplinary center for global uh, by biosecurity studies. It was founded quite recently, and certainly you recognize the portrait of a director of this center. This is Dr. Anastasia Maligina, who is among us, and her brilliant presentation we listened to, to tonight, sorry, to this morning. So the main goals of the center are development of platform for international expert dialogue in global security topics, including issues of regime strengthening biological and toxin weapons convention, uh, BTWC, uh, involving certainly international experts, uh, relevant international structures. Certainly, um, Dr. Maligina could explain you more in details about the opportunities for cooperation, and we could use the opportunity he is with us. Next slide, please. So, our um, one of our active centers and our active colleagues in international cooperation, Center for Eurasian Studies, uh, founded in 2019. Uh, its main goals are uh, interdisciplinary research in political, socio-economic, cultural process in Eurasia, involving specific uh, specialists in history, political science, sociology, law, journalism, oriental studies, uh, and expanded network of uh, expanding network of international partners. Um, the um, scientific leader and director of the center is Professor Alexander um, Kol uh, Kolesnikov, who is one of the greatest specialist on Turkish affairs and Turkey in Russia, not only in St. Petersburg. This is a very active center in all the aspects related to Eurasian cooperation, including the countries of the Southeast Asia. Next slide, please. Um, our colleagues from the uh, Center for Ibero-American Studies, which was founded um, 11 years ago, are very um, active in organizing different events and developing international cooperation. Their main goal, uh, 
pro providing multidisciplinary research in international relations, economics, philology of Ibero-American countries and regions, ensuring relations with St. Petersburg State University, with diplomatic, scientific, um, educational and cultural organizations from Ibero-American countries and other regions of the world. Director of the center is Professor Victor uh, Heifetz. So uh, the colleagues, uh, as I said, are very active and they are may, they're the main event they organize every two years is Ibero-American Forum of St. Petersburg. They organize it since 2013. And of course, uh, they, we, we and they, <laughs> we together invite practically all the specialists of Latin America from uh, Russia, neighboring countries, and all over the world. Uh, once I mentioned the big, uh, the huge um, scientific events, uh, the Congress, St. Petersburg Congress of International Studies should be mentioned too, which started this uh, huge full-scale project in 2022. And we organized this forum, uh, including uh, many dozens of conferences and events every two years. Um, the last time the Congress took place was this year in April, and it, it united hundreds of uh, participants from dozens of countries all over the world. The next slide, please. Um, one more center I have to mention is uh, quite narrow in its topic, but very active in international cooperation. This is a Center for Canadian Studies established in 2020. Uh, its director is Professor Yuri Akimov, one of the major specialists on Canada in St. Petersburg and in Russia. The main uh, goals of the um, center are promoting joint scientific projects in Canadian topics, organizing public events dedicated to uh, various issues on Canadian studies. Uh, well, dear colleagues, I, I understand, we understand that not all the research centers and their specializations uh, could be equally could be, you know, in the range of immediate interest of Pakistani colleagues. Um, maybe center, cross-disciplinary center of uh, Dr. Maligina and Eurasian center, we suppose. So uh, could be, first of all, be interesting to young researchers, to the people uh, concentrated on research on Eurasian and on proliferation studies. Uh, so speaking on, pra in, in, uh, on practical terms, um, whether you are interested in establishing contact in exchange of researchers in a joint publication or joint programs, you could contact either the directors of the center or my office. We are always open to cooperation. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Uh, thank you, Doctor, so much. Um, thank you for sharing the name of the actual centers and identifying experts there. And I, I, Doctor Irina, identifying the areas where cooperation and exchanges could actually happen. I uh, thank you both of you because we are running off the we are running out of the time. So I think I'll end this session here, and we will head for the conclusion concluding session. Thank you so very much, and big round of applause for both of our speakers. Thank you. Thank you to the speakers and moderators moderator for the discussions. Now I would request Dr. Naeem Salik, Executive Director, SVI, to present conference mementos to the speaker and moderator. First of all, I would request Professor Irina Nobikova to receive her conference memento. Now I would request Dr. Dmitry Bershenkov. And lastly, I would request Ms. Ayusha Khan.